Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of hydrosalpings. A middle-aged female patient came with the history of recurrent lower abdominal pain. She had given a history of tubal ligation a few years back. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the left adnexa. You can see a tubular structure like a question mark with internal incomplete septation of fold is noted. You can see adjacent bowel movement. There is no communication with bowel lumen here. The structure looks anechoic with hyperechogenic thin wall. So this hyperechogenic thin wall tubular structure with internal fold is the hydrosalpings. It happens due to excess secretion with obstruction. Do you know what type of transducer I have used to scan this patient? Well, this was the transvaginal sonography probe and I used it transabdominally. Here is the curvilinear transducer and you can see this tubular structure at the left adnexa. This is the partially filled urinary bladder. Here is the picture, you can see the partially filled urinary bladder and this tubular anechoic structure with thin wall and internal incomplete septation is the hydrosalpings, that is the dilated fluid filled fallopian tube. Here is another picture and you can see the question mark shaped dilated fallopian tube. So in summary, an elongated anechoic cystic structure with incomplete septation or fold is noted at left adnexa, suggesting hydrosalpings. Another take home message. Acute severe pain in a diagnosed case of hydrosalpings may seek attention to exclude torsion, which is not quite uncommon.